Welcome back. In this learning, we will talk about how to activate a virtual environment. Of course, we have to first create the virtual environment and then activate it. As you see, I have these environments available. I have these versions of Python available 3.8 as well as 3.12. So when I open a folder, there is a way even you can drag a folder here and uh, click open the folder. This is interesting uh, set of uh, facility available where we can drag and open the folder once i have opened it and uh, if i take a new terminal then you see that i am getting this message the python virtual environment was successfully activated even even though my env 312 indicator may not be present in terminal prompt so 3.12 means the version, the version 3.12 is activated, although this is not indicated in my terminal. So how come it got automatically activated for me? We have to go through these steps today, right? First of all, make sure that you have downloaded both the versions 3.8 or 3.12 and then you install, uh, of course, uh, download and install Positron and now you want to activate one of the environments so suppose we want to activate 3.12 by the time you must be watching uh, python might have gotten the additional uh, versions the updated versions but it uh, the process remains the same so now in order to create and activate environment first what i have to do is i have to go into this directory right so Quant Finance Apps is the directory where I am already there. If I am not there, I will get into there by see, changing the directory, doing the cd command for that directory. I have this environment available to me. But for that, first of all, I have to create the environment. So in order to create the virtual environment, I will type this command python dash m v e n v env underscore 3.12 so with this command which we run on the terminal we are creating the environment the virtual environment and then after that i will run this second command to activate the environment and the moment i do this command on the terminal you see that env underscore 3.12 within the brackets show that this environment has been now activated it means that yes now i can run my python apps in this environment so now if i have to save my file for some reason i will save it and then i run this and now you see that i have got this display so if i maximize it and open it in the default browser you see that this app has opened it is running in the local host and if i click uh, generate scatter plot because this has functionality which is to be achieved then here we go there is the output from the app here so this is how we will activate virtual environment and before activating we create the virtual environment for one of the various versions of python that you have downloaded and installed so the same way if we go back if you want to run this app for some reason into another version of uh, uh, the Python for which you have already installed that version and you want to activate the environment, you want to first create and then activate that in environment, you follow these steps and then you will be able to work and uh, uh, you create your apps and test your apps uh, using that version. So there are these two steps create the virtual environment and activate the virtual environment but before that you have to install those versions and make sure those versions are available here so once these uh, uh, virtual environments are created and activated they become available here and uh, you get those by clicking these three dots it will show you all the versions of python that are available to you thanks for joining